said we gon' win Knock me down nine times, but I get up ten Look myself in the mirror, I said we gon' win Knock me down nine times, but I get up ten Look myself Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good night It has been a cool minute since I gave y'all an update And I will say sorry, but I'm not Because in every video I started off like I'm gonna do better in making videos and y'all can get them videos that you need, you know. And I'm supposed to be posting two videos a week. And I literally ain't posted in like a month, a month and a half, maybe. So it's not easy, honestly. It's not easy at all. I'm just gonna keep it real with you, okay? Like, I just don't be having enough freaking uh, energy and stuff. Or I don't look presentable enough to be in front of anybody's face. So because I look enough of like a person today and I've showered and brushed my teeth, <laughs> I'll give y'all a little update. So today I am officially 37 weeks. I am 37 weeks today literally on the dot so i'm considered full term so if he comes anytime after today he's not really a preemie you know so that's good i do not want him to come before like 35 35 39 weeks like i want him to wait a little bit longer you know but it's also okay if he comes any day now. So, <sighs> super close. Um, yeah, I only have like two or three weeks left, depending on when he comes. So, I might have um two. More. <sighs> I might have two or three more videos uploaded before my labor and delivery video goes up because I still have other videos to get done and other things that I have to do that I will record um yeah um other videos oh I just posted my baby shower video my baby shower was on Saturday today is Thursday so yeah go watch that <laughs> super cute I loved everything about it um, besides the fact that my back was just killing me as it is now but you know symptoms I guess symptoms <laughs> let's get into some symptoms okay um because he is way bigger he's running out of room to like move around and everything like that he can't just swish and bounce and turn and you know do jumping jacks so it's just like he makes my stomach so hard because he's just bunched up in like one spot or he chooses one spot to be bunched up in and I think he likes to be up a little bit higher so most of the time I literally feel like the oxygen is being sucked from me and I literally have to breathe like <sighs> to feel like I'm breathing because if I breathe normally I just I feel like I'm not breathing like I can't breathe and I don't like you can't understand it until you feel it I guess but I'm, I'm telling you I be feeling like I cannot breathe taking it from me just like my energy and everything else okay um in the beginning you know constipation was like a problem it was there all the time you know that's why you get the you get your hemis but um now it's like you're not constipated anymore and you have to boo boo all the time like i went from probably once a day to like two or three now so yeah that's that's the thing you poop a lot I'm pooping a lot more um I can say 
you know I don't know if it's because um, my sister thank you sis I don't know if it's because my sister bought me a body pillow a pregnancy body pillow a pregnancy body pillow or if it's the fact that I got my bed fixed but I do sleep a little bit better like I'm not up until like 6 o'clock in the morning now I probably go to sleep probably by 2 and I can like sleep during night unless I have to get up to pee which is like five freaking times a night but other than that I am no longer up until 8 o'clock in the morning and going to sleep at like 10 and then being asleep the whole day so sleep is getting better I like it I like it because <laughs> that was definitely a problem oh my god that was definitely a problem um let's get into something that people really don't talk about or they don't feel the same way about um and also this is possibly just my experience because where I have to go for my ultrasounds I hate this place and I've talked about this before but I hate it I hate it I hate it I hate it so maybe it's just my ultrasound technicians or whatever but those ultrasounds hurt ultrasounds hurt and I, I'm saying ultrasounds because I don't know if that's everybody's experience but the ones that I get they hurt it's like they're I don't even know how to describe it like they just push all up inside of you I understand like you have to be able to see what the fuck you need to see I understand that but like they are pressing so freaking hard with that freaking ultrasound stick thing oh my god it leaves my stomach sore afterwards it hurts I remember one time I had to get ultrasounds like back to back like one day ultrasound then the next day ultrasound that mm. that was not it wasn't it wasn't a fun time it wasn't a fun time at all um I still have acid reflux it's like an everyday thing now or um I mean not or when I lay down even after like 30 minutes of letting my food digest I feel like I still have that feeling in my throat like I'm about to throw it. When I lay down, I can sit up, I'll still feel it, but it's less when I'm sitting up. So I, I do sit up, but I still have acid reflux. I haven't gotten heartburn. I think I really only had heartburn that one time, that one time, and I don't think I've had it again. So please pray for me. I mean, I know it's probably a myth that if you have heartburn, your pregnancy, your baby has a lot of hair, but I haven't had none, and I don't want him to be bald headed. So, pray for me. Um, pelvic pain, and I know I've talked about pelvic pain since like my second trimester just never went away but it's always a different type of pelvic pain like now it's like my inner thighs hurt my hips hurt the top of my bikini line area hurts and it's like you can literally just feel his head cradling in that area yeah it hurts it hurts so bad Oof, it hurts. Icy Hot has been my pain relief because I haven't taken any type of medication like Tylenol or anything. Like my whole adventure. I just, I don't want to. I, I can't. I don't know. Mind thing maybe. Just like I can't drink non-alcoholic alcohol. I just can't. I just can't but um yeah my skin <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do afterwards I don't know I don't know because my skin my face mm, 
my face isn't isn't terrible okay I'm, I'm happy that my face is doing what it's doing but like my skin aside from stretch marks like my whole like not my whole chest area but like most of it and then like my arms and like my back Woo! I probably won't like wear any tank tops or anything that shows above here for a very long time because and even this even right now look I'll try to show can't even see because the light is bad but like literally it just looks so ugly and then you can't even see so you're probably like you're being dramatic no you can't see it because the light but ugh, I just feel like an alligator alligator crocodile whatever good thing is I haven't had any swelling I haven't had swelling I haven't had high blood pressure preeclampsia um, prenatal diabetes anything like that so smooth sailing like my pregnancy has been very easy like I've had an easy pregnancy aside from the pains like that's the only thing and that's normal so you know I don't have any issues I've never went to the emergency room um, I haven't fallen I haven't bled like anything of the sort so I'm very grateful for that I've had a healthy pregnancy baby is healthy um, growing fine heartbeat is always good um, probably had like a few scares because you know he, he he be stingy sometimes and some days he wanna you know be oop bopping up in there and some days he would just wanna chill so it's like you know I'm supposed to be doing my kick counts and <laughs> he be playing sometimes so I be like do I need to go do I need to go to the ER and then I give him some time and he he shows me that he's fine so that's fine I'm good with that I guess um I just had an appointment um actually had an ultrasound and an appointment like within the last two weeks and from my ultrasound everything is looking good um my placenta is i think it's called posterior but i'm just gonna say it's in the right position um baby is head down i don't know if he's facing up or back hopefully he's facing the way that he needs to be facing and i don't have a breech baby um his heart the last time they did his ultrasound he was being stingy and he wouldn't show the left side of his heart or one of the sides of his heart but they got to it to that day and um his heart is fine um his due date is still the same what else everything was looking good my cervix is looking good my uterus is looking good um yeah that's the ultrasound part from my appointment like i said heartbeat is always good he's measuring where he needs to measure um, i passed on my test like i'm not anemic no high blood pressure no heart problems um you know stuff like that i can't remember everything and then at my last appointment she did my group b strep test and that is basically she takes a q-tip she swabs your v and then she swabs your butt so it was way better than you know a pap smear or something like that so that's that and then that is like a test to see if you have a type of bacteria or infection 
I don't know which one it is, but it's one of those. If you have a type of bacteria or infection down there, if you test positive, it's fine. They're just going to um, give you antibiotics through your IV when you get to the hospital. And then um, it won't pass to the baby when they come out. So that's what a group B strep test is. Um, I went to get a 3D ultrasound then. Um, I'll show you guys those pictures if they want to um, work with me. Okay. Super cute, super cute. So yeah, we went to get the 3D ultrasound done. Um, what else? I mean, that's about it really. I've just been, you know, making sure that everything is, um, making sure that I get all his last minute things. Um, and putting everything that he has like away and out the way and getting like everything in my room set up for him. Hey! Oh. Um, shit. yeah so yeah that's all I can really think of to update on two or three more weeks left and I have like two or three videos left to post so um, I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything um, this will probably be my last like week weekly type update like 37 38 39 shit like that i probably will come back with an update on you know labor progression if my mucus plug um has came out um if i'm having contractions or something like that but another one of these updates i don't think many, most things are going to change um It'll just be hell from here on out. And uh, I'll be on my own type of bed rest. So, I will talk to y'all in another video. Okay?